Alright guys, new cinematic for League, and it's Rise related. Uh, we're gonna try it out, see how it goes. Hopefully it's good. There is a great power in this world. Ancients. And forgotten. It transformed fields of bare stone into wonders of life and magic. It carved mountains, drained oceans, and burned skies. Never faded. It Ooh, their CG is getting wrong. good. <laughs> okay. Hidden away, waiting to be found. The stronger it grows. The louder it calls. Others seek to claim this power. For strength, balance, control. It's the apocalypse. I was weak then. Naive. So I vowed, never again. Oh. <laughs> I assume misfortune. And, uh... Interesting, interesting. Gnosis, okay, I like it. I like we're just going. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> okay, I need to go back to that later. Trundle, wow. <laughs> you can resist the call of power. We gotta go back to this stuff, man. We gotta go back to this. What the? Many say, I hold too much power. <laughs> Others say, 
I can't be trusted. Maybe they're right. But the only power I truly have is the strength to let it go. And you ult away. There's one left. <laughs> All right, so I took my time, went on Reddit to look up some stuff, and uh, just so you know, I read the in preparation for this. This cinematic leaked a little bit um, yesterday on Reddit. Uh, the Latin, I think, uh, Latin riot leaked out a few seconds. You know, like a teaser. So I knew this was coming. I read up on Rise's lore. So Rise. Um, is basically, he's basically immortal, um, because he's been dealing with world runes, which is his, his goal, uh, in Runeterra, which is, uh, um, and world runes are these, um, kind of like nukes, equivalent of nukes in Runeterra. They hold great power, and, um, whoever has them, you know, you can destroy other nations and stuff, kind of like a doomsday weapon or whatever. And back in the day, Rise with his master, uh, were mediating a conflict between two warring nations. Um, they both had the nations anyway. They had world runes in their possession, and they were like threatening each other that they were going to use it on each on, on each other. And so um, eventually, the conflict got to a point where they did, and they destroyed each other. And Rise's hometown got caught in the conflict, you know, the crossfire. And so that's that's uh, that's his goal. Um. So, Rise, well, you probably wonder what happened to the Master. Well, he died, got corrupted by the power, fell to the dark side. And I think Rise has had to take him down, so, yeah. Anyway, this uh, cinematic was kind of slow. Um, it's like five minutes, believe it or not. That felt slow. But, you get to see a lot of things about the character. Well, that is if you didn't read the bio, which I did, so I kind of saw all of this coming. Kind of predictable. <laughs> So, um, with this one, he, we see Rise, like, in the for like, a forest type area, and there's, like, this tomb hidden away, and it has, uh, these pillars, and, um, in these pillars are the world runes that Rise has found so far. Green, purple, like, a yellow looking one, and, uh, the current one he found, which is red, and, um, he's talking about them, you know, how, how they corrupt and all that. And uh, when he puts the current one he found into the pillar, he sees like a, I guess like a flashback of it. And it look, kind of looks like a, like a city that was uh, devastated by the world rune. You know, the aftermath. Looking apocalyptic. So, I'm not a Rise player. But there was one part in this cinematic that kind of got to me. And I was seeing a bunch of other champions. So, we get to first see him fighting with MF. Like, working together. And I'm assuming it's MF. It's... A red-headed looking girl with dual pistols, and I so I assume it's Miss Fortune. And she's giving out some cover fire. And the next scene you get to see, uh, we get to like, it's at Shirima, and we get to see Gnosis. And Rise is working with Gnosis. And the weird thing is, I've always thought that Gnosis is bigger. I've always thought he was a bigger character, because um, in-game, when he ults and he's charging at you, you kind of see that like, uh, that crazy behemoth charging at you, queuing to death, queuing you to death, and you think, why me? So, you know, I'm kind of disappointed that Gnosis isn't bigger, but he looks great. I like it. And, um, we get to see him... What was it? It was either W or E. He gets, like, he's, like, where he slows you down, and that's what he's doing. And, uh, the next scene is Rise fighting some assassins. Oh, this is Demacia, that's what it is, I think. Yeah, it might be Demacia. No, it's not. It might be Ionia, actually. Uh, but, um, highlight for me was seeing Sona. Because I'm a Sona main support, with some Riven mixed in as well. 
<laughs> Riven Jungle on top. <laughs> and uh, I think she's ulting. I'm not quite sure. I can't remember. It looks like she was ulting. Uh, let me see. Yeah, I was ulting. That was great. That's that's cool, man. And um, the weird... Okay, here's another weird part. Is that um, whoever was doing the rendering for the characters, I, I don't know if they've seen the game. Because this outfit is not what Sona's wearing in-game, or it could be to like a casual wear for her, but it's like, what are you guys doing? It's like see-through, you can see the shadows of her legs, which is like, I'm not complaining, but um, yeah. I mean, look at this! You can see her legs here, it leaves a lot to my imagination, guys. It really does. So, I kind of want this, this look in-game. Riot, release a skin, and I'll buy it. I'll buy it! I'll buy it, man! Okay. Like, I'm just looking at it right now. Don't judge me. Don't judge me a bit. Don't judge me, guys. Okay, um, we're gonna go to the next scene, which is him dealing with Trundle in a 1v1. Um, how I know it's a 1v1? Because there's a bunch of other trolls that are... They're like watching as onlookers, and so... You know, they, they give some respect and honor to that that stuff. And uh, Trundle's as... as uh, he's, he is as I imagined him. Very wowy, kind of. But very Trundle-esque. <laughs> so, finally, um... After dealing with the Trunda clan, which I assume is in the Frail Yard. It's in the Frail Yard, yeah. He finds the the, the world rune, and uh, there is a guard. Not quite human-like, but uh, very Velkaz-like. And I've looked it up. It might be... Everyone thinks it's a Watcher, um, which I could agree with. Um, and for Watchers, uh, the Frozen Watchers or whatever, um, they're like part of Frail Yard lore where Lysandra... I think Lysandra kind of like worship, kind of worship them in a way. Yeah, I was right. She she kind of worshiped them. She was like the speaker. So like um, if you think Lord of the Rings, you have the the mouth of Sauron. Mouth of Sauron. Excuse me. I'm I'm sorry if I anger you, Lord of the Rings guys. And um, they the the Watchers are void. Voidborn. So yeah. Um. Rise engages and uh, engages in some hentai. Not quite hentai, but pretty close to it because uh, one of the tentacles goes to his brain. And uh, but uh, Rise dispatches it pretty fairly easily. And so you know we uh, flash forward to him putting the Freljord World Rune into its pillar. And uh, I kind of like the part where he's like, "Oh man, I'm too, I'm too old for this, man. I'm too old for this." It's like tired. It's like, oh. it's great. I liked it though. Um, if there's one more thing I want to add is that Riot CG is very on point for this one. It's very on point. They took to heart the uh, the wonky CG that the earlier ones had, and I also found like like some of them have. Like, even the more current ones have some wonky CG that I'm not... That I kind of think, eh, still doesn't look quite right. Like the... Um, like with the Pentakill one. Anyway. But, they, you know, they've gotten better. They've gotten a lot better now. <laughs> I want to see next Freljord, though. I really want to see a Freljord one. Or, um, you know, like into Demacia or Noxus or something. Ionian, even. It's really cool. I really like this. But I'm not a Rise guy. If you got you Rise guys, will get a kick out of this one. I feel. And um, oh yeah, like the last pillar. I wonder what it could be from, where it could be. So yeah, I think that's it. That's all I have. That's all I want to add. So please leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment. What do you guys think about this one? Is it uh, is, is it up to your standards for cinematic? I mean, this is very. Lore heavy, so I really like these lore heavy ones. So, yeah. Okay, we're good. I think we're good, guys. We're good. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys later. See ya.